So this is one of those guns, and I probably say this about every gun I review here, or most of them, but this is one I am truly excited for, man. This is the new Smith & Wesson 30 Super Carry, and this is a brand new round designed specifically for us, the concealed carrier. It's not a military cartridge moved into the concealed carry world. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but this thing was designed for us, law-abiding concealed carriers in the United States, dude. What's up, welcome to the channel, my name is Hexshot. Thank you so much for joining me today as I am just itching to show you this thing. Now, I have not shot this gun, but I have to thank Smith & Wesson and Federal for making this thing possible. Smith sent the gun, Federal sent the ammo, so I can show you everything there is to know about this in the future review that will be coming out very soon here. I thought for a while, man, am I gonna be able to get ammo for this thing? They worked everything out, so big thanks to those guys. But right here, right now, I'm going to show you the features, do an unboxing, a little bit of comparison with the Shield Plus, the original Shield Plus, and uh, just get you up to date on this thing, man, and show it off a little bit too. If this is your first time stopping by, please make sure you subscribe, hit your notification bell, and if you want to support the channel, I got a link down to Patreon, you can do that. Enough with all the talking and intro though, let's get into it. Open it up. Standard cardboard box, no big deal. We're gonna pull this thing out, but I'm gonna pull this mag out too. So you're gonna get all the basic stuff here. You're gonna get the gun, you're gonna get two mags, lock, all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Pull it out of the package, and there it is. So this is the new Shield Plus in 30 Super Carry. So essentially what this round is, is it is designed to give you more rounds, but the effectiveness of a nine millimeter in ballistic testing and in gel testing. So you get capacity of like a 380, but you get the ballistics of a nine mil. It's pretty incredible, dude. So if we take a look around the gun, you have front and rear slide serrations. They're still sticking with the little small serrations on the Shield Plus. I think that's fine for a gun like this. It still gives you enough grip where you can actually get a hold of that if you wanna do your press checks and things like that fish scale style serrations in the rear. They've used those for a long time. So as far as the dimensions, it's exactly like the Shield Plus. 19.3 ounces unloaded, 6.1 inches in overall length, 3.1 inch barrel, and 4.6 inches high. What's not the same though is the capacity. So now we have 13 rounds in the standard base plate magazine as opposed to 10. And then you also have the 16 round extended mag. Boom just like that. So you're getting more rounds, same weight, same size gun all the way around. It is essentially the same size. You have your spot right here, so you can go ahead and put a red dot on there if you want to. They sent this one with the Tritium Night Sights, and I believe this is how these guns are coming. So blacked out rear right there, and then you have this orange front Tritium Night Sight as well. Really nice setup for concealed carry. All the way around, man, this gun is awesome. They're using the updated texturing, so it's not as aggressive as the M2.0, um, and it's not nearly as slick as the original Shields. It's got a really nice balance there. Updated trigger, this is, I've praised the Shield Plus as being the best shooting concealed carry gun on the market, and to this day to this video, it still is, and they use that trigger, man. Smith, fantastic job on the trigger on the Shield Plus. Cannot wait to get this one out and, and see how it compares uh, to the original Shield Plus. The Shield Plus is a new gun, but you know what I'm saying. So a couple things to differentiate the nine from the 30 Super Carry is you have this Shield, really big Shield Plus uh, sign up here, but in the letters, they actually have the same texturing from the grip on the inside of the Shield lettering right there, which is, I don't know, that's kind of a cool, nice little touch. 30 Super Carry right there. And then on your mags, it actually says Shield 30 on the top of the follower, and then right here, 30 Super Carry on the side of the magazine as well. So you may be thinking, are these guns literally the same size, but you're getting three additional rounds? Yes. So let me show you. So there's your length right there. If we look at the width, and then we look at the height, exactly the same all the way around. So same footprint all the way around. And one additional bonus, because they're essentially the same size gun, is at least the Tolster holster will work for your Shield Plus in 30 Super Carry. That's one of the profile holsters from Tolster. So 
Really awesome, man. I'm excited to see how this does out in the wild. Like I said, ballistically, you're on par with a nine mil, but you're getting more rounds and, and in line with like a 380. So it bridges that gap really from 380 capacity to nine millimeter capabilities, it bridges that gap. So I'm excited to see what others think of this. And you know, obviously it's just gonna take people like me and you shooting the round, using the round, God forbid, actually using it in a self-defense situation to see how it performs. But these guys, these engineers, I mean, they, they know obviously way more than what I do. And to get the capabilities that it already has on paper, I think that's pretty impressive. And of course, it has some of the same Smith & Wesson features. Breakdown, all that kind of stuff is the same. Loaded viewport right there. But really, we got to get this thing out to the range. Make sure it performs. Sure it will. But we have to see. Like I said, man, we have about 400 rounds of 30 super carry to run through this thing and to give it a good first test. I think the biggest issue may be initially is just finding that ammo. But we'll see how that process goes along here, man. Thank you guys for watching and checking out the first look. Make sure you subscribe for future videos on this gun and more to come. See you guys in the next one. And as always, holding down.